Today on MTG Unpacked, it's finally time to get stuck into my two pre-release packs for Ikoria. So I picked these up from the local game store on Friday, so they did a curbside pickup. And they had these extra packs here for prize support, so they were handing them out uh, if you bought a pre-release pack. So we'll crack those open momentarily, and if you have missed all the Ikoria content on the channel, I'll pop a link to the complete playlist. Opened an absolute ton of the stuff, and there's more to come. We've actually got another collector box to take a squiz at soon. Alright, so let's see what I got from these packs. Crank the lighting a tad. These are, seem to be Japanese printed. Everything's back to front. We have a beast token, a swamp. And in Dartha Triome, nice! Land, Plain, Swamp, Forest. So you can tap it for white, black or green, enter Bedfield tap, cycle it for three. Good deal, so that's where most of the value seems to be in the rare slot. With the Triomes, we have the Ketria Crystal for Uncommons. Regal Leosaur, Dinosaur Cat, nice uh, comic book art there. Grim Dancer and the Commons. We have Shredded Sails, Survivor's Bond, Thieving Otter, Snare Tactician, Hampering Snare, Main Serval, Heightened Reflexes, Blood Curdle, and Bushmeat Poacher. Okay, and one more, Dranith Stinger. Alright, so let's crack open the next pack, and this guy just cracks me up. Hilarious. And on this channel, we do look at the commons. I know it's quite horrifying to some of you, but we do like to look at the artwork. Okay, MTG Arena, popped it over there. Forest and the rare, Colossification, nice. Giant cat here, Enchantment Aura for seven. Enchant creature, when it ends battlefield, tap Enchanted creature. The Enchanted creature gets plus 20, plus 20, nice. Okay. And Uncommon Sanctuary Smasher, that's pretty cool artwork. Zenith Flare, Clash of Titans. And the Commons Shredded Sails, Moscow Goria, Evolving Wilds, Frost Lynx, Light of Hope, Adaptive Shimmerer, Blitz Leech. Ooh, that is terrifying. Fire Prophecy. I am determined to pull a foil version of that. Memory Leak. Wait. What did we... Okay, that gag is old already. Migratory Great Horn. There we go. Okay, trying out some new gags with the new set. Let's get this stuff out of the way. And get into these juicy... Well, we hope they're juicy pre-release boxes. And at some point in the video, I'll be popping up the code cards for MTG Arena. So if you snag one of those, leave a note in the comments. We're going to roll a lucky 7 today, and no, it is not, not lucky, it's a number 6, okay. So, what do we have in here? We have, okay, so code card. These things are nice and thick, let's get a focus there. So the ones you get out of the packs are sort of flimsy. What else is in here? Nothing? I thought there was something else. Never mind. Alright, moving on. Alright, and of course our promo there. I'll hide that just there, and there's a little flyer thing. Let's take a quick look at this if you're new to pre-releases. So this thing has a bit about mutating your creatures. Basically stack the card on top of another one, and I think you can have multiple layers there. Here's how to build a pre-release deck. Exactly 40 cards, two or three colors is the suggested guideline. Sometimes I go over that by a fair bit. Up to one companion, 15 to 18 creatures, 5 to 8 other spells, and try to make your mana curve look something like that. And 17 lands. So that is just a guidepost. Let's get into it, see how we do today. I'm curious what I would have built if I'd actually <clears throat> been able to play in the pre-release. Okay, we have Keep Safe, which is very appropriate. Go for Blood, Bushmeat Poacher, Adventurous Impulse, Blood Curdle, Plummet, Dranith Healer, Heightened Reflexes, Aegis Turtle, Unexpected Fangs, and Uncommons Regal Leosaur, Flame Spill, Cunning Night Bonder, and rare is Shark Typhoon, yes! 
I would probably build a deck around this enchantment for six. So whenever you cast non creature spell credit an XX blue shark creature token with flying where X is that spells converted mana cost. You can cycle it for X, one and a blue. And when you cycle Shark Typhoon, create an XX Blue Shark Creature Token with Flying. Yes, Flying Sharks are a thing, people. I love this artwork on this planes here. And a Dinosaur, <coughs> excuse me, Dinosaur Token. Alright, on to the next. So off to a great start with the Sharknado there. Solid footing. Frostvale vale Ambush, Durable Coil Bug, Greater Sandworm, Pacifism. And we have cards. These cards are uh, slicker than usual, I will say. Blister Spit Gremlin. Facet Reader. Night Squad Commando. Flycatcher Girafid. Primal Empathy for the Uncommons. Avian Oddity. Looks pretty odd to me. Escape Protocol. And the rare Sky Cat Sovereign. <laughs> Creature Elemental Cat 1 1 for 2. Flying and it gets plus one plus one for each other creature you control with flying. Two white and blue create a one one white cat bird creature token with flying. Okay, I've changed my mind. I think I'd do this, but you know what? Blue, I'd probably be going blue white, right? To get both of those. And a foil alert heed bonder. Pop that over there with a rugged highlands and human soldier. And what is this? Oh, YouTube competitive action. Alright. <clears throat> On to the next one here. We get Perimeter Sergeant Thieving Otter. Come back with my suitcase, sir. Spell Eater Wolverine Cavern Whisperer. Humble Naturalist Farfinder. Coordinated Charge Excavation Mole. Doing a bit of digging there. Suffocating Fumes. Weaponize the Monsters, which I think is a great idea. Monstrous Step. Savai Crystal and the Mythic, yes, Mythic Alternate Art, a Lunar Apex of Wishes, I think they call this the uh, Showcase Art, Legendary Creature, Beast, Elemental Dinosaur 6645, uh, Mutate for 3 and either a red and green or and uh, 2 blue, Flying and Trample, whenever this creature mutates, XL cards from the top of your library until you exile an online permanent card. Put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. Okay, so this would make for a tougher decision because he is pretty cool. All right, first mythic, a thieving otter foil. A forest and a companion token. So that, I am very happy with this. If I'd pulled this at the event, I'd be uh, grinning already. We have forbidden friendship. Snare Tactician of One Mind, Granith Stinger, Sudden Spinneret, Dead Weight, Almighty Brushwag. And doesn't he look like a bush? He's just a bush walking around. Very terrifying. Cabin Whisperer, Crustacean Excavation Mole, Easy Prey. <laughs> Oh yes, there's like one creature behind another, behind another. Wingspan Mentor, Zagoth Mamba, and the rare. Oh, Indartha Triome, nice. Land, plain, swamp, forest, so you can add white, black, or green into Spadfield Tap, cycle it for three. So how does that line up? It doesn't really line up with what we have there. Okay, so this would be a tough one to build a deck from. Island and no table required. So I'd be like, I think I'd be struggling to decide what to do because we have some pretty spicy stuff so far. All right, next we have Frost Lynx, Tentative Connection, Perimeter Sergeant, Thieving Otter, Almighty Brushwag, there he is again, Mutual Destruction, Humble Naturalist, Dark Bargain, Boot Nipper, Anticipate, an Uncommon's Neutralize, Flame Spill, Cunning Night Bonder, and another mythic! What the heck? This is crazy! Nethroi, Apex of Death, 5-5 five, five for 5 mana. Legendary creature, Cat Nightmare Beast. Mutate 4 and either a green and white and 2 black. If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put it over or under target non-human creature control. They mutate into the creature on top. Plus all abilities from under it. Has Death Touch and Lifelink. 
Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Two Mythics. I have never seen that in a pre-release box. And Swiftwater Cliffs and a Human Soldier. So what is the most number of uh, Mythics you've ever seen out of one of these? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, we have a Thieving Otter, Spell Eater Wolverine, Garrison Cat, Humble Naturalist, Dark Bargain, Light of Hope, Rumbling Rock Slide, Edges Turtle, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, an Uncommon's Keen Sight Mentor, Glowstone Recluse, Escape Protocol, and the rare is Hunted Nightmare, Creature Nightmare 4-5 for 3 with Menace. So when it ends battlefield target opponent puts a death touch counter on a creature they control. They swamp and a human soldier. Okay, let's see what we've got here in the promo pack. I'd like to get these out of here to highlight the foils. Oh, come on. I'm having trouble opening. How embarrassing. All right, what's it going to be? It is Umori the Collector. Nice. Legendary creature ooze. 4-5 for 4. With companion, each non-land card in your starting deck shares a card type. Okay. As Umori the Collector enters the battlefield, choose a card type. Suppose you cast the chosen type, costs one less to cast. So I'm not sure that would be terribly useful unless we... Maybe uh, you just had creatures or something, but yeah, pre-release, I would say that is not terribly useful. All right, so that is the first box. Let's set that aside, and then we'll get stuck in to the next one. Scooping all this stuff up, and how did everybody else do with their pre-release boxes, if you're able to pick some up? Or better yet, were you able to play in some events? That would be fantastic. Okay, pop that over there, on to the next one. So that box, two Mythics, I would say, is going to be almost impossible to beat, plus a Triome. I mean, you can't get much better than that. Okay, lucky number seven, number four, never mind. Okay, we'll grab all the stuff here. Pop that over there, hopefully not spoiling anything. Move this stuff aside. Okay, six packs of what I hope will be fiery goodness. Okay, starting off with a Perimeter Sergeant Thieving Otter, Spell Eater Wolverine, Lurking Deadeye, Adventurous Impulse, Dranath Healer, Raking Claws, Hampering Snare, Blood Curdle, Thwart the enemy and Uncommon's Reptilian Reflection, General's Enforcer, Savai Crystal, and the rare is Bonder's Enclave. Land, tap for colorless mana, pay three, tap, draw a card, activate this ability only if you control a creature with power four or greater. And a Rugged Highlands and no table required in the arena. Actually, have you done one of the, uh, is there a pre-release events in arena or is it just draft? Leave a note in the comments. Next up we have Pyroceratops. I'd like to see a foil version of that guy. Blade Banish Capture Sphere. And apparently the plan of Ikoria is really Pokemon. Dranath Stinger Cavern Whisperer. There he is. Got the uh, comic book art. Humble Naturalist Bushmeat Poacher. Cloud Piercer Coordinated Charge. Migratory Great Horn. Look at the teeth on that thing. And Uncommon's Rooting Moloch, Flame Spill, Cunning Night Bonder, and the rare is Song of Creation. Fantastic artwork here from Noah Bradley, Enchantment for Four. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards, and at the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. Okay, so I was all with it right up until that final point, so that could be a problem in pre-release. Scoured Barons and Human Soldier. So what was that other one, the, um, uh, can't think of his name, not a Dryad, the, um, the one from Theros, where you can play an extra land on each of your turns, that's what I built my previous pre-release deck out of. Next up we have Perimeter Sergeant, Phase Dolphin, Pyroceratops, Blade Banish, 
Sudden Spinnerets Mutual Destruction Fully Grown Excavation Mole Boot Nipper Anticipate An Uncommon Sprite Dragon which uh, that was one that was over a buck I'm sure it's dropped by now Reconnaissance Mission Grim Dancer and the rare is Amuri the Collector there he is again non-foil not quite as exciting this time and a Swamp and Human Soldier. Okay, so we are halfway through this second one. Looking for the spiciness. Not doing too badly, I would say. Blade Banish. Keep Safe. Forbidden Friendship. Snare Tactician. Dead Weight. Sudden Spinnerets. Cabin Whisperer. Gloom Pangolin. Blazing Volley. Savai Sabertooth. And Uncommon's Proud Wild Bonder. Also known as a Pokemon Trainer, Reconnaissance Mission, Ketria Crystal, and the rare is Colossification. There it is again. Giant Cat, love that artwork. And a Bloodfill Caves, and a very thin little punch out card. We have two packs left, people. Where are the Mythics? I really, I don't think we're going to be able to beat that first one, but we shall see. Forbidden Friendship. Solid Footing, Frost Links, Tentative Connection, Humble Naturalist, Bushmeat Poacher, Wilt, Fire Prophecy, Savai Sabertooth, Migratory, Great Horn, I think I prefer the comic book art for that one, Titanoth Rex, which I believe has a Godzilla variant, which I prefer the Godzilla variant, Ominous Seas, Unbreakable Bond, and the rare is Genesis Ultimatum. Sorcery for, what is that, seven? Look at the top five cards your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Exile Genesis Ultimatum. Okay, that could be good, but are you going to be able to get the right mana in the right combination at the right time? So maybe not so much. Thornwood Falls and another Punch-Out card. Okay, final pack here. Let's get into it. And then we'll take a look at the promo over there. Next we have Phase Dolphin, Durable Coilbug, Honey Mammoth. Ooh, don't think I've seen that guy before. Rumbling Rock Slide, Aegis Turtle, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, Thwart the Enemy, Patagia Tiger, Hornbash Mentor for the Uncommons, Splendor Mare, Ivy Elemental, and the Rare. Sky Cat Sovereign again. So Flying Cats, maybe it's telling me something. And a Foil Honey Mammoth with a Mountain and Beast Token. What's this on the back? Catch new content every day. Okay. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, let's get this promo card out of here. What's it gonna be? Ketria Triome Foil. Ding, 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 ding. Fantastic pull. Land, Forest, Island, Mountain. Enters the battlefield tap. Cycle it for three. Fantastic pull there. Very happy about that. All right, so I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.